Hello everyone, welcome back to learning legal English through case law series. In this video, we'll study case law number 46-2021-AL about determining the punishment bracket of against a child home the offender has the responsibility to educate in the crime of obscenity against children. Case law N.O.46-2020-AL slash slash about determining the punishment bracket of against a child home the offender has the responsibility to educate in the crime of obscenity against children. Includes five parts, part one, source of the case law. Part two, overview of the case law. Part three, content of the case. Part four, assessment of the court. Part five, rules. This case law is approved by the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court on November 25, 2021 and announced in decision number 594-QDCA dated December 31, 2021 of the Chief Justice of the Supreme People's Court. Cassation decision no December 2020-HSGDT dated August 7, 2020 of the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court on the case of obscenity against children against defendant Din Kwong D. Part 2 – Overview of the Case Law Case Law Situation The defendant was a teacher in the child's school, who did not directly educate the victim, had obscenity acts against the victim. Legal Resolution In this case, the court must determine the crime of obscenity against children according to Point C Clause 2. Article 116 of the Penal Code 1999 with the punishment bracket circumstance of against a child whom the offender has the responsibility to educate, corresponding with point 2. Article 146 of the Penal Code 2015 on the crime of obscenity against persons under 16 years old with the punishment bracket circumstance of against persons whom the offender has responsibility to educate. Key words of the case law. Teacher in the victim's school. Obscenity against children. Obscenity against persons under 16 years old. The crime committer is responsible to educate. Part 3 Content of the Case. Due to knowing each other before, around 7.30 on April 2, 2017, Nguyen T.T., born on August 3, 2001, is a 10th grader, the 50th high school, used her mobile phone to text message Din Kuang D who was a teacher at the school and made an appointment to meet in D's room. After making the appointment, to walk to D's room in the teacher's dormitory, in D's room, because being afraid that someone would pass by, D closed the door and took T's hand to read palm lines. At this time, D put his arm around her shoulders, around her waist, seeing that T did not react, D had the intention to take advantage of T to satisfy his personal needs. D kissed T, pulled T lying on bed and went on bed with T, then continued to kiss, touching her belly and chest with his hands. Then unbuttoned her pants and pulled her pants down. D reached out his left hand to touch T's genitals. T disagreed, so she pulled D's hand out and zipped up her pants. D continued to pull down the zipper of T's pants and pulled down the front part of D's pants revealing a part of his penis, touching T's hip, to push D out making D's pants popped up, pushing his penis back into the pants. D continued to sit on T's lap, rubbed her cheek with his hands, then T pushed him out and stood up to fix her hair and clothes. Demanding to go home. D went to her back and hugged T then opened the door for T to leave. After that, T told her family about being sexually abused by D. On April 3, 2017, Mrs. Tran Th, the mother of T, denounced Din Kuang D's behavior. At the conclusion of forensic examination number 166-TTPY dated July 7, 2017, the Center for Forensic Assessment of Province G concluded Peng Wing TT did not suffer any bodily harm. In the first instance criminal judgment number 55-2017-HSST dated October 2, 2017, the People's Court of Chu Prong District applied Clause 1, Article 116.H, P, S Clause 1, Clause 2, Article 46 of the Penal Code 1999, sentenced Din Kuang D to 07 months in prison for the crime of obscenity with children. 
On October 2, 2017, Din Kuang Di appealed for a reduced sentence and asked for a suspended sentence. At the Appellate Criminal Judgment No. 97-2017-HSBT dated December 29, 2017, the People's Court of GLI Province accepted the appeal of Defendant Din Kuang D, Apply Clause 1, Article 116, Points H, P, S Clause 1, Clause 2 Article 46, Article 60 of the 1999 Penal Code, additionally Apply Point X, Clause 1, Article 51 of the 2015 Penal Code, amend the first instance criminal judgment and impose a suspended sentence on Din Kuang D for 07 months. On April 6, 2018, the Chief Procurator of the High Level People's Procuracy in Da Nang issued a decision to protest cassation No. 48 QDVC 2 requesting to abrogate the first instance criminal judgment and the appellate criminal judgment because that the criminal act of Din Kuang D must be tried with the aggravating circumstances against children whom the offender has the responsibility to educate, specified at point C, Clause 2, Article 116 of the Penal Code. 1999. At the Cassation Decision No. 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23, 2018, the Judicial Committee of the High People's Court in Da Nang upheld the appellate criminal judgment. At the Protest No. 13-QDVKSTCV7 dated October 23, 2019, the Chief of Supreme People's Procuracy decided. Protest against the Cassation Decision No. 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23-2018 of the High People's Court in Da Nang and the Appellate Criminal Judgment No. 97-2017-HSBT dated December 29, 2017 of the People's Court of GLI Province. Proposed the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court to try according to Cassation procedures to abrogate the first instance criminal judgment no. 55-2017-HSST dated October 2, 2017 of the People's Court of Chu Prong District. Criminal Appellate Judgment No. 97-2017-HSBT dated December 29, 2017 of the People's Court of GLI Province and Decision on Cassation No. 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23, 2018 of the People's Court of High Court in Da Nang for a retrial of first instance in accordance with the law. For the following reasons. The High People's Court in Da Nang stated, the circumstance of person with responsibility to educate specified at point C, Clause 2, Article 116 of the Penal Code 1999 is understood as teachers who directly teach or homeroom teacher of the victim. In this case, defendant Din Kuang D is a teacher, and the victim Nguyen T.T. is a student, but the two do not have a direct teacher-student relationship, so Clause 1, Article 116 of the Penal Code shall be applied to punish Din Kuang D. The above judgment and decision of the High People's Court in Da Nang is a serious mistake in the application of the Penal Code, because, Din Kuang Di is a geography subject teacher of the 50th High School, where Nguyen T. T. is a student. According to the provisions of Point D.D. and E, Clause 1, Article 31 of Circular 12-2011-TTBGDDT dated March 28, 2011 of the Ministry of Education and Training promulgated together with the Charter of Junior High Schools, High Schools, Ludi Level High Schools. The duty of subject teachers is to protect the legitimate rights and interests of students and to coordinate with the homeroom teacher and other teachers in teaching and educating students. Therefore, as a teacher of the school, D is responsible for educating all students of the school, including Nguyen T. T. The criminal behavior of Din Kuang D has seriously affected the prestige of all teachers of the 50th high school. Therefore, the criminal behaviors of Din Kuang D must be prosecuted and judged with the circumstance of against children whom the offender has responsibility to educate prescribed in Point C Clause 2 Article 116 the Penal Code. The People's Court of Chu Prong District applied Clause 1, Article 116 of the 1999 Penal Code and sentenced Din Kuang D to 07 months in prison is not appropriate with the nature and seriousness of the behaviors committed by the defendant. The appellate judgment and the decision of cassation added the application of point X, Clause 1, Article 51 of the Penal Code 2015 for Defendant D is not correct because the defendant's father is not a martyr. At the same time giving Defendant D a suspended sentence does not meet the current requirement to compete with child sexual crime which is developing negatively and is of particular concern to the public. At the cassation hearing, 
the representative of the Supreme People's Procuracy proposed the Council of Judges of the Supreme People's Court to accept the protest of the Chief of Supreme People's Procuracy, abrogate the first instance criminal judgment number 55-2017-HSST dated October 2, 2017 of the People's Court of Chu Prong District. The appellate criminal judgment number 97-2017-HSBT dated December 29, 2017 of the People's Court People's Court of GLI and Cassation Decision number 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23, 2018 of the High People's Court in Da Nang for retrial in accordance with the law. Part 4. Assessment of the Court. Based on the files in the case, the Court of First Instance and the Court of Appeal in the trial of Din Kwong D4 obscenity against children are grounded and in accordance with the law. Regarding the circumstances of penalty bracket, the Judges Committee of the High People's Court in Da Nang said that D is not the teacher who directly taught Nguyen TT, so should not apply the aggravating circumstance of against children whom the offender has responsibility to educate specified at point C, Clause 2. Article 116 of the 1999 Penal Code are not lawful. Din Kuang Di is a geography teacher at the 50th High School. On March 26, 2017, Di went to the boarding school for ethnic minorities to ask male students to help cut bananas trees behind his dormitory. Di's seeing T playing in the girls' room and knew that T was in 10th grade. Since then, D and T often text each other. On April 2, 2017, T sent a text message before getting to D's room where D had obscene behaviors towards T. Therefore, D had known T for about a week and knew that T was a student of the 50th high school. According to the provisions at points D, D, and E, Clause 1, Article 31 of Circular 12-2011-TTBGDDT dated March 28, 2011 of the Ministry of Education and Training issued together with the Charter of Junior High Schools, High Schools and Muti Level High Schools, the duty of subject teachers is to protect the legitimate rights and interests of students, to coordinate with homeroom teachers and other teachers in teaching and educating students. Therefore, as a teacher of the school, D must be responsible for educating all students of the school, including Win T. T. Therefore, D must be subject to aggravating circumstance of against child whom the offender has the responsibility to educate as defined at point C, Clause 2, Article 116 of the 1999 Penal Code to be lawful. The People's Court of Chu Prong District applied Clause 1, Article 116 of the 1999 Penal Code and sentenced Din Kuang D to 0 7 months in prison, which was inconsistent with the nature and seriousness of the behavior that the defendant had committed. The appellate judgment and the decision on cassation to additionally apply point X, Clause 1, Article 51 of the Penal Code 2015 to Defendant D are incorrect because according to the veteran's record, the defendant's father is not a martyr, at the same time, giving Defendant D a suspended sentence did not meet the requirements of fighting against sexual abuse crimes against children which is developing in a complicated way and attracting particular attention from the public as in present. Therefore, the protesting cassation number 13-QDYKSTCV7 dated October 23, 2019 of the Chief Procurator of the People's Procuracy against the cassation decision number 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23, 2018 of the High People's Court in Da Nang and the Appellate Criminal Judgment number 97-2017. Slash HSPT dated December 29, 2017 of GLI People's Court is necessary, need to abrogate the first instance criminal judgment number 55-2017-HSST dated October 2, 2017 of the People's Court of Chu Prong District. The Appellate Criminal Judgment Number 97-2017-HSBT dated December 29, 2017 of the People's Court of GLI Province and Cassation Decision Number 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23, 2018 of the High People's Court in Da Nang for retrial in accordance with law. Part 5, Rules Pursuant to Clause 3, Article 388, Article 391 and Article 394 of the 2015 Criminal Procedure Code.
abrogate the first instance criminal judgment number 55-2017-HSST dated October 2, 2017, of the People's Court of Chu Prong District, and the appellate criminal judgment number 97-2017-HSBT dated December 29, 2017, of the People's Court of GLI and Cassation Decision No. 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23, 2018, of the High People's Court in Da Nang for retrial in accordance with law. Accepting the Cassation Protest No. 13-QDVKSTCV7 dated October 23, 2019, of the Chief Procurator of the Supreme People's Procuracy against the decision on Cassation No. 55-2018-HSGDT dated October 23, 2018 of the High People's Court in Da Nang and the Appellate Criminal Judgment No. 97-2017-HSBT dated December 29, 2017, of the People's Court of GLI Province. Transfer the case file to the People's Court of Chu Prong District, GLI Province for retrial. Content of the case law Din Kuang Di is a geography teacher at the 50th High School. On March 26, 2017, Di went to the boarding school for ethnic minorities to ask male students to help cut bananas trees behind his dormitory. Di's seeing T playing in the girls' room and knew that T was in 10th grade. Since then, D and T often text each other. On April 2, 2017, T sent a text message before getting to D's room where D had obscene behaviors towards T. Therefore, D had known T for about a week and knew that T was a student at the 50th high school. According to the provisions at points D, D, and E, Clause 1, Article 31 of Circular 12-2011-TTBGDDT dated March 28, 2011, of the Ministry of Education and Training issued together with the Charter of Junior High Schools, High Schools and Muti Level High Schools, the duty of subject teachers is to protect the legitimate rights and interests of students, to coordinate with homeroom teachers and other teachers in teaching and educating students. Therefore, as a teacher at the school, D must be responsible for educating all students at the school, including Gwyn T. T. Therefore, D must be subject to aggravating circumstance of against child whom the offender has the responsibility to educate as defined at point C, Clause 2, Article 116 of the 1999 Penal Code to be lawful.